and in case of the SXI hosts, the uh, uh, the VMware provides their own modules to start uh, to, to to carry on the system. In this slide, we have a playbook which uses switch as the state, and running this playbook essentially switches the direction of the migration relationship, making the target volume primary. So, in the last slide, we saw that we triggered the initiate relationship or initiate migration and which which resulted in creating the volume and then eventually starting the relationship so after some time depending on the size of the volume the relationship would reach a synchronized state and would be the candidate uh, for the switch so in the diagram we can see that we have uh, as as in explained in the last few slides, we have the two clusters uh, in partnership, and we have the primary and the we have the ex existing volume as primary and target volume as secondary at this point of time, and it is now synchronized. Now at this point of time, we will switch the direction and. Uh, once we trigger the switch, we can see that the target volume uh, becomes primary and is available for input-output operations. The cleanup is the last and the third step uh, in the managed migration cycle, if you can say that, for, for the lack of a better word. Uh, so, what exactly is happening in this situation is that we have a playbook where we have the state as cleanup and we have specified the source volume uh, which we want to get rid of because at this point of time we have the uh, situation where we have uh, migrated the content, migrated the data on the target volume and the host is able to do input output operations on the target volume. Now, of course, this can be considered an optional step in a way that uh, if we want to retain the existing volume, then perhaps we would not want to go with this particular uh, step. But if we want uh, to get rid of the existing volume, then this playbook with the state cleanup uh, will should be triggered so that it eventually releases the old primary and thus completing the cleanup process. Uh, now this that is all about the managed migration module and uh, now we can move to the demo of the flash copy module. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Shilpi. So today we will be demonstrating our flash copy Ansible module. The module creates a snapshot and clone both of any uh, provided source volume. For this demo purpose, uh, we will be showing how to create the snapshot of an existing source volume. Here uh, we have uh, two playbooks, snapshot create and start snapshot. In snapshot create, we have used our flash copy module, Ansible module. This uh, module uh, lets user to create the snapshot of an existing source volume. The source volume must exist before using this module. So here I have taken three source volumes. Uh, this module will create the flash copy mapping between the source volume and the target volume. The target volume will be created by this uh, module itself. Here if you see uh, copy type I have seen, I have um, written a snapshot because I want to create the snapshot. The details of all the parameters used in this module can be found in the Ansible documentation. Uh, here I have used the variables like name, snapshot, source, volume, target, volume. All these variables are defined in the variable file that I will show you um, just now. This is the variable file. So these contain all the variables that I will be using in my playbook. The other playbook is start snapshot. 
so uh, this is using another ansible module which is start stop flash copy this uh, module uh, will start the copying as the name suggests itself so it will copy the content of the source volume to the target volume and will create the snapshot uh, so i'll show the demo before that uh, let me see let me show you that the flash copy does not exist and lsv disk if we see that source volumes are already created target volumes are not there so the first task in the playbook is to obtain an authentication token the same token you can pass to the successive task and it will be used by all other successive tasks so here it is creating the snapshot for source volume 1 for source volume 2 and now the source volume 3 okay so uh, here you see change is equal to 1 because our there were two tasks in our playbook the first task was to obtain the authentication token and second task was uh, to create the flash copy mapping so the first the only task that has done any configuration changes on the storage was creating the flash copy mapping mapping so here it is change is equal to 1 is shown so uh, we can show on the gui also you see these three source volume were already there now three more volumes have been created target vol 1 target vol 2 target vol 3 these three are the target volumes created for this flash copy mapping so the name i have chosen as source uh, with prefix source and target you can choose any other name if we go here also so there are three six there are six volumes already and if we do uh, listing of the flash copy mapping so these three uh, mappings are there okay so now let's uh, do another uh, which is start snapshot so the copying part has been started once it is done then uh, we will go to the gui to see the changes so the progress is 0% uh, right now Uh, wait for a few seconds and it will show the progress so the snapshot one this completed snapshot 3 is completed and the time stamp is already there so uh, the next part of this demo is to use the variable file so here you see that uh, we have created three different flash copy mappings three different target volumes of three existing source volume and we have copied the content so like this i don't know why this is not coming is getting completed we can see it later on the next part is to create the another uh, snapshot at different time interval so i'll just go and change the variable file here keeping the same source volume i don't want i'd want the snapshot of the same source volume so i have just changed the target volume and i have changed the name of the flash copy mapping so uh, we will again create the flash copy mapping for the same source volume to the gui see now it is now completed maybe it is because of some some uh, network connectivity issue but it is now copied 
So if we go uh, to the volumes, 